Hey guys, um, happy, happy midday. It's not morning, happy morning. Um, let me know when you are logged on. Hi Tristan, how are you? I'm just getting um, Facebook all set up because I got my devices all backwards here. Hello Lillian, how are you? So this is gonna be like a 30 minute core um, workout. Um, if you are new to um, the studio, the studio, my house, welcome. Um, we'll wait a couple seconds for everybody to get logged on. I'm gonna get Facebook all set up because I didn't get it set up yet. Um, leave me a comment, let me know if you're new to Pilates. Leave me a comment, let me know if you're new to the, to, to the studio, to North. Um, um, leave me a comment, let me know how you're doing, how your day's going. And I'm just gonna get um, Facebook all set up. You're gonna slide, slip under your head. Lift your elbows up a little, draw your chin in a little, and then pick up your head and curl forward so that you're looking towards your legs. Now check, for, as always, that there's space between your chin and chest. Try to have a little bit of a curve between the back of your belly button and the floor. And then from the base of your ribs here, you're gonna curl up a little higher, good, and then release just a little. On an exhale, curl up a little higher, good, and then release a little. And I want you to make sure that you're breathing here, curl, and then release. Exhale, curl, good, and then release, good. Making sure as always that space between chin and chest is still there. You're not pulling on the head, you're not yanking on the neck, it's instead really folding through the ribs. Next time you're up in your curl, you're gonna hold. You're gonna bring just your right leg up for tabletop. Knee is over your hip, lower leg in line with the floor. Keep from here, find a little twist to the right, and then come back to the center. Find a little twist to the right, and then back to the center. Hips stay quiet, ribs turn, and then center. Breathing here, ribs turn, good, and then center. Think left ribs to right hip, twist, good, and then center. Let's do one more here, twist, good. Back to the center, you're gonna stay in your curl, but switch your legs. Let's find that twist to the left, and then back to center. Find that twist to the left, good, and then back to center. So your right ribs twist down and across to that left hip. Let's twist here for three, good. Making sure that you're breathing, two, good. Just warming up through the ribs and upper abs. Last one, let's lower that foot, uncurl your spine, nice work guys, and rest your head. Take your hands out from under your head for a sec. Open both of your knees out to their sides, and then zip both of your knees back together. Big stretch through the inner legs, open your knees out, and then exhale, bring the knees back together. Inhale here as you open, and then exhale here as you close. Inhale again to open, and then exhale again to close. One more time, let's open the legs. Good, one more time, let's close the legs, hold. Slide your hands back under your head, fingers interlace that same spot. Holding your head with your hands right at the base of your skull. Elbows up a little, chin in a little. Bring yourself right on up into your curl. Space between chin and chest. Mm -hmm. Curl up a little higher. And then from here, let's bring that right leg up for tabletop. Your right knee is gonna open a little to the right and then pull it back to center. Right knee opens a little to the right, good. And then pull it back to center. So a little bit of a rotation and then center. Mm, a little bit of a rotation, good, and then center. Now we're gonna add on, we're gonna open that knee as it closes, twist to the leg. Open the ribs are square, and then close the leg and twist. Open the ribs are square, and then oh, close the leg to twist. Open, and then twist. Couple more times, open, good, and then twist. Last one, open, good, twist, Hold, keep the leg where it is, but steer the ribs to the center. Let's switch the legs, left leg up, curl higher, just the leg to start, open, and then close. Mm -hmm. Open, good, and then close. Your right hip bone stays heavy, mm -hmm. your pelvis stays neutral, open the knee, mm -hmm. close and twist. Open the knee, good, and then close and twist. Anchor down through the back of the pelvis, good, stay really 
quiet through that right leg. Let's twist and close for four. Good. How are abs feeling for three? Good. Feeling that line right ribs down to the left hip two. And then the last one, let's park it in the middle with the ribs curl higher in the middle. And then just for fun, switch the legs and then switch them again. We're going to switch and then switch. Good. And then switch. Curl a little higher. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet come to the floor. Uncurl your spine and rest your head. Same as before, hands come out from under your head. Separate your feet so they're wide apart. Now just tip both of your knees one way and then bring both knees back to center. Tip both of your knees the other way and then come back to center. Inhale here to go side and then exhale to come back to center. Inhale to go side and then exhale back to center. Couple more times making sure that you're breathing. And the next time that you're in the center, you're going to stay in the center. Heel toe your feet so that they're back underneath you. And then bend your elbows and slip your hands back under your hip. Elbows lift up a little. Chin draws in a little. You're going to pick up your head and curl forward so that you're looking towards your legs. Curl up a little higher. One leg up for tabletop. Other leg comes up to match. If this is too much, have one or both feet on the floor. Wherever you are, curl curl through your upper abs. Curl, good. And then curl, good. And then curl right from the base of the ribs. Five, mm -hmm. four. How's it going? Three, good. Make sure you're hinging from the ribs. Two, good. Hold the curl. Add a little twist one way. Add a little twist the other way. Legs stay quiet for now. It's just the ribs that turn. Hips are anchor, mm, pelvis is neutral. Let's add on twist to the left, slide the right foot a little forward, come back in. Twist to the right, slide that left foot forward, and then come back in. Twist and reach, find center. Twist and reach, good, find center. Let's pick up the pace, a quicker switch, and then switch, good, and then switch. Anchor the pelvis, good, steady through the hips, Five, four, three, two, one. Stay in the center. Lower your feet. Uncurl your spine and rest your head. So nicely done, guys. Pull that right leg in towards you. Grab hold of the back of the thigh. Kick your right foot up to the ceiling for a hamstring stretch. The left leg is going to go straight and long to the floor. Right shoulders wrapped away from your ears. We're going to roll this into an ab curl, so listen carefully, nod your chin, pick up your head, push that right leg away from you, and roll all the way up to sit tall. When you get to the top, if you get to the top, I hope you made it to the top, both legs out long in front of you. You're going to sit up nice and tall here, so bend your knees if you need to. When you sit up, try to find length from the bottom of your spine. Your sacrum draws in and up. Arms up to, this, up to shoulder height. Inhale. On an exhale here, tuck your pelvis and start to roll back a little bit. As you roll back here, you've got hips and ribs close. You've got knees soft, eyes lifted. With an exhale, drop your spine a little lower. Mm -hmm. With an exhale, drop your spine a little lower. Exhale again, drop your spine a little lower. And then bring your hands up to the ceiling and you're gonna roll all the way up to sit tall. Arms come down to shoulder height, inhale. With an exhale from here, zip your abs in and start to roll back a little. Hips and ribs close, heels heavy, come a little lower, mm -hmm. come a little lower, good, come a little lower, and then reach up with both of your hands and come all the way back up ah, to sit tall, good, arms to shoulder height, draw in from the back of the pelvis, sit tall, with your exhale, tuck your pelvis again, roll back, hips and ribs close, good, eyes still lifted, let's go low and hold. Hold low, okay? Now the lower you go, the harder this will be, but you probably already knew that. You're gonna reach both hands up to the ceiling and then lower back down. Both hands go up to the ceiling, good, and then lower back down. Try to keep the eyes lifted. Mm, try to keep your shoulders away from ears. Lift mm, and then lower, good. Lift again, good, and then lower, good. Next time you're up, 
hold up as if you're gonna toss your hands behind you. Little lift, good. Little lift, like a little throw, like you're throwing something behind you. Five, four, power abs, three, good. Two, hold. You're gonna go back onto your back, breathing. Bone, good. Butt bone, nice work, guys. By bone. Head comes all the way back. Mm -hmm. Hands reach back to the wall behind you. Slide one leg a little longer. Slide the other leg a little longer. And then bend both knees, place both feet flat on the floor. Grab hold of the back of the left thigh and kick the left foot up to the ceiling. So a quick little hamstring stretch here. How does that feel? Drop the shoulders. Use your arm strength, your bicep strength. Pull that leg a little closer to you. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then nod your chin. Pick up your head. Oh, I forgot. Slide the right leg out to long. And now gracefully roll yourself all the way up to sit tall. I imagine that that was very graceful, but there might be some rock and rolling, and you might still be stuck there. So come on up. Both legs out long in front of you. This time I want you to sweep your hands up to the ceiling, get really tall through your spine, and then take all of that length. You're gonna reach forward, hands fall wherever they fall, which might be at your feet, might be at your knees, doesn't matter to me, but I really want you to drop your head here and get a really good stretch through the top of your spine. Take a long breath in, and then take a deep breath out. And then roll yourself up to sit tall. Bring your arms right back up to shoulder height. Inhale, you're gonna sit taller. On your exhale, zip your abs in and start to roll back just a little bit. Hips and ribs close, knees soft, heels heavy. Bring your hands together. You're gonna find a little twist, a little turn to the right, and then a little twist, a little turn to the left. A little twist here to the right, and then a little twist here to the left. And as you go from side to side, I want you to make sure your hips aren't moving at all, but your ribs are turning. We're going to turn, good, and then turn. Now a little smaller, so it can be a little quicker. Switch, switch, good, switch. Go smaller. Five, four, three, two, hold, adding on, drop lower. One turn to the right. One turn to the left, center, come lower. One turn right, one turn left, center, come lower. Again, right, mm -hmm. left, oh boy, center, one more time lower, last time right, mm -hmm. and then left, good, and then center, good, and then go all the way back onto your back, bone, good, by bone, nice work guys, by bone, that was excellent. Hands are back, legs are long, take a breath in, take a breath out, and then bend your knees, feet to the floor, and slide your hands right back under your head. I'm scooching down so that you can see a little better, okay? Hands behind your head just like before. Elbows up a little, chin in a little, curl on up. Space between chin and chest. Neutral through your pelvis. So again, that's hip bones and pubic bone relatively flat. A little bit of space between the back of the belly button and the floor. Curl up higher and hold. Take it or leave it. One leg up for tabletop. Other leg up for tabletop. Curl a little higher. Keep it small. One foot goes a little forward. Bring it back in. Other foot goes a little forward. Good. Bring it back in. Both feet together go forward. Good. Come back in. So it's one leg, bring it in. It's the other leg, bring it in. And then it's both legs, good, bring it back in. If that's too much, you can still have a foot on the floor and do this one leg at a time. If for whatever reason it's too much with your head up and you're happier to have your head down, you can still do the leg work with the head down. Or you can do a combination, have the head down and still work single leg. There's an option that works for you, okay? Wherever you are, you're breathing, exhaling as your foot goes forward, Exhaling as your feet go forward. Let's go for four, good. Breathing for three, good. Strong core, two. I messed up my counting so bad that we're gonna do the pattern one more time through. I knew something wasn't gonna work there, okay? Both feet together, good. Come in, keep the legs lifted though. Put your head back down on your mat. 
So you want your head down for sure here. Legs lifted ideally, but feet can be on the floor if they need to be. Arms are gonna come out to a T. Tip your knees a little one way, mm -hmm. and then tip your knees a little the other way. Just a nice little intermission here. Nice little twist through one side of the spine, uh-huh, and then the other. Remember here, the core isn't just abs, right? Cores are the muscles on the front and the back of the torso, the sides of the torso, and core really extends out into the limb. So this is a nice way to kind of put that all together. Next time you're in the center, you're going to stay in the center. Slide your hands back into your head one last time. Nod the chin, lift the elbows, curl on up. Last piece of work here is a tiny reverse curl. You're going to want to be on a nice squishy mat for this or on a carpet. Make sure you're not on the hardwood floor. It's not going to feel great on your spine. You're going to curl up from the bottom of your spine, slow and steady. In fact, the slower, the better. So you can add a little pause at the top. Let's tuck up slow for four. I forgot the pause. Exhale, tuck up three. That was a bit better. Exhale, tuck up two. Good. And then last one, roll the legs to tabletop, one foot to the floor, and then the other, uncurl your spine and rest your head. You're going to slide the legs back out. Give them a little bit of a shake. And then from here, you're gonna flip over so that you're lying face down. Okay, how are abs feeling? Good, warm? So lying face down, you're gonna separate your legs so that they're mat distance apart, if not wider. And then you're gonna do the same thing with your arms. You're gonna separate your arms so that you, they are mat distance apart, if not wider. Now, if you have shoulder stuff going on, if you bend your elbows, you've got like goalpost arms, it's a little bit more forgiving. Okay, so forehead is gonna be down on your mat. Feel free to put like um, a towel under your forehead. You can fold up your mat, but your head is going to stay down for now. Keep, give your hips a little bit of a wiggle. Let your pelvis soften to the floor. And then straight legs, straight arms. I want you to lift your right leg and your left arm, though I think I just did the exact opposite. And then lower that back down. Other arm and leg, we'll call it. And then lower back down. So you're gonna lift from the back of the leg and the back of the arm, and then lower back down. You're gonna lift back of the leg, back of the arm, good, and then lower back down. Couple more times like this, lift, and then lower. On your exhale, lift, good, and then lower. Good, the head stays down for the first couple of rounds. Try to find that work through the backs of your limbs, and feel the muscles that run across the back of the spine, connecting arm to leg. Now adding on from here, you're gonna lift arm and leg, hover your head and chest, and then lower that back down slowly. Lift arm and leg, hover head and chest, mm -hmm. and then lower back down slowly. Lift, mm -hmm. and then lower. Same again, lift, good, and then lower. Think about reaching long through the limbs. Mm -hmm. Think about staying long through your spine. Next time that you've got right leg, left hand up, hold. Make sure your neck is long. The hand and the foot make a little lift, little lift, little lift. Three, two, one. Lower everything down. Only to lift second side and hold. Back of the arm and leg, make that little lift. Lift and then lift. Three, two, one one lower down use your hands now and push up onto all fours hands under shoulders knees under hips you're gonna round and arch your spine a couple times which feels good like any day of the week but it feels extra good after doing that little bit of back work take your time here Turning your tail up, rest of the spine follows. Turning your tail down, same thing, rest of your spine follows. And then next time that your spine is halfway between the two paws, you're going to take your right arm, thread it through the left. Let your right ear come to the floor and your left elbow bends. Push a little with that left hand for a bit of a better stretch. And then slowly slide that hand back to the floor. Other side, the left arm threads through. 
The left ear comes to your mat, the right elbow bends. Push and pull for a bit of a better stretch. And then slide that hand back underneath you. I'm feeling kind of kind and generous. Let's do it again. Slide on over. And then restack back up. Looking here for the pliability of the rib cage. Slide on over. And then come back up. One more to each side like this. Slide and twist. And then come back to the center. So nice, hey guys. Other side, slide and twist. Good. And then bring it back to the center. Pause. Now back to work. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're going to push into your hands. You're all prepped for this. Turn the toes under. Lift your knees and hold. Hold and breathe here for five. Long spine for four. Neck long for three. Head reaching straight forward, two, good. And then last one, you got it. Lower your knees back to your mat. Shake out your shoulders, shake out your wrists, take paws off of your hands if you need to. Let's do it again. Hands down, toes turn under. You're gonna hover up and hold. Mm -hmm. From here, I want you to take one foot, tap it to the back of your mat, and then bring that leg back in. Other foot, tap it to the back of the mat, mm -hmm. and then bring that leg back in. Now your foot can tap, and then lift, and then come back in. Your foot can tap, and then lift, good, and then come back in. Or you can go straight to a lift if you'd like, and come back in. But you're pushing here from the base of the bum. The top of the head is reaching forward. One more to each side like this. How's it going? Push from the back of the bum, good, come back in. Push from the back of the bum, good, come back in. Lower your knees, round your back, and roll all the way up. Oh, it's not nice to kneel tall. I'm gonna turn and face you. Knees, hips, and top of head all stack up. How'd that feel? Arms come out to a T. You're gonna take a big side bend up and over one way, and then come back up to tall. Big side bend up and over the other way, and then come back up to tall. On your inhale, try to reach a little further, and then exhale, come up. On your inhale, reach a little further, and then come back up. Remember, again, we're thinking of core as this three-dimensional system, and here it's a great opportunity to find that stretch length, but it's actually strength that pulls you up. So you stretch through the side of the core to go over, and then strength to come up. I could do the side bend forever, but let's make this the last one. Restack in the center, from here, I'll turn so you can see a little better. Hands are going to come forward, ribs push back, and then reverse that. Hands go back, ribs slide forward. Same again, hands go forward, drop the head, and then hands go back, slide the eyes up. Drop the head, reach forward, and then reach the hands back, lift the eyes. Drop your head, look forward and down. And then reach the hands up, back, lift the eyes. One more time, bigger reach. One more time, bigger stretch. And then bring the hands all the way up to the ceiling. You're gonna dive back down onto your mat. So, hands are gonna be back under shoulders. Knees are gonna be under your hips. And actually, I lied. Let's come down onto the elbows, okay? So down onto your elbows, I want your forearms here as parallel as possible, okay? So hands are gonna be planted, forearms are gonna be parallel. You're gonna turn your toes under, push into your hands, I'm just getting my watch here, you'll see why in a sec. Push into your hands, hover and hold. Ribs lifted, top of your head reaches forwards. You're gonna take one leg, slide it back, the foot's gonna hook to the floor. Other leg, slide it back, same thing, foot hooks to the floor, and here we are in plank. Now have my watch here because I want to stay for about a minute. Now a minute is a long time. It's an invitation to stay a little longer. It's an invitation to push yourself a little bit further. Please only take the invitation if it works for you. Push back through the heels. Mm -hmm. Lift up through the base of the ribs and reach forwards through the top of the head. Lots of really good work here through the front of the core, the sides of the core, but you really got to dig deep here and find this like three dimensional whole body core contraction, working through the legs, lengthening through the neck. You're going to hold and breathe, hold and breathe for five. How's it going for four? Breathing for three. Mm -hmm. Two, good. Last one. Here's the thing. One hand comes to the floor, 
other hand comes to the floor. Here you are in a plank. Now you're gonna bend your elbows and lower down onto your front. Five, four, three, two, one. So nicely done. One last little piece of work here for the back of the body, the back of the core. Have your elbows bent this time, hands tucked under your shoulders. Give your hips a little bit of a wiggle. Feel the bones of the front of your pelvis heavy to the floor. And then roll your shoulder blades down and together on your back. Hover your head and hover your chest. Now you want you to wrap your shoulders a little bit further away from your ears. Push into your hands, just peel your chest a little bit higher. Leading from your breastbone, the center of your chest here, I want you to turn to look over one shoulder. And then I want you to turn to look over the other shoulder. So you're leading from the ribs, turn and twist. Come back to center, turn and twist, and then come back to the center. A couple more times, wrapping the ribs, mm -hmm. and then back to center. Twisting the spine, good, come back to center. We are all spending so much time hunched over our screens these days. We are all working from odd work at home stations, right? So this little extension and rotation exercise is such a good antidote to the iPhone posture. Let's twist for four. How's it going for three? Making sure you're breathing two, good. And then last one, stay in the center, push into your hands, peel on up a little higher, and then slowly come all the way down onto your front. Use your hands, push up onto all fours, same as you did before, just round and arch your spine a couple times. One last little piece of work here coming your way. Now, take it or leave it, work it in steps, do what works for you, take care of your body. Turn your toes under, push into your hands, push into your feet, and hover your knees a couple inches off of your mat. You can stay exactly where you are. Maybe you'd like to add on, you're gonna swing your knees a little to the right, that was my left, but that's fine. Swing your knees a little the other way. Mm -hmm. So stay low with the knees, pivot on the feet, swing the knees one way, mm -hmm. and then swing the knees the other way. Great way to work the sides of your core here. Adding on, let's swing the knees, this is to the left, hover the left hand off of the floor, lower the hand, come back to the middle. Swing to the right, hover the right hand, mm -hmm. and then come back to the middle. And you can just kind of stick with this. You can make it a little bigger swing, lift the hand, good, and come back to the middle. The destination doesn't matter to me here. It's the journey of going from the front of the core mm -hmm, to the side of the core, from the front of the shoulder mm -hmm, to the side of the shoulder. We're gonna do one more and we're gonna hold. So hold whatever you've got. Maybe the hand is up to the ceiling, maybe not. If you're in this position, bend the knees a little, mm, straighten the legs a little. Bend the knees a little, mm, straighten the legs a little. One more bend, mm, one more straight, good. Back to the middle, last piece, last side, let's do it. Hold on your side if that works for you. Bend deeper, spring straighter. Bend deeper, spring straighter. One more time bend, mm -hmm. one more time straighten, lower the hand, send your hips up to the ceiling, and find a downward, nice work guys, facing dog. Hands pressing down, hips going up and back. Take a breath in, and then take a breath out. Walk your feet up to your hands or maybe your hands back to your feet. Stand into your feet, drop your head. Give your head like the most gentle little nod or shake, something that just allows you to get your head really heavy. Head hangs, spine lengthens. Take a breath in, and then take a breath out. And then soften your knees and so slowly start to roll yourself up to stand bone mm, by bone good by bone when you get to the top heels hips and top of head all stack up just once here i want you to roll your shoulders up to your ears 
Roll your shoulders down your back. Take a little pause here and see how you feel. We did a lot of work for core today, so hopefully your spine feels nice and long and lifted. Give everything a little bit of a shake. Thank you for joining. Hope that you enjoyed um, that quick little 30 minute workout. Um, we normally stream from the North at Home page, North at Home page. Um, so if you want to come back and take class, uh, we stream there uh, every Monday to Saturday at 930 in the morning. Um, if you have any questions, send me a message. Otherwise, good work today. Enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully we'll see you soon. Okay, bye guys. Take care.